Good morning and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Focus ST walk around video. But before we do get started with the walk around, if you're currently sat there thinking, I'm loving these walk arounds and I don't want to miss another one again in 2024, then can I recommend placing your finger on the subscribe button and that way you'll be in tune with all of our content. This here is a beautiful frozen white Ford Focus ST featuring the 2.3 litre EcoBoost engine producing 280 PS of power and 420 newton meters of torque. That then is transmitted through the front wheels through a seven speed automatic gearbox. This vehicle will get you 0 to 60 in just 5.5 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. The vehicle is registered on a 2023 registration, meaning we're taking forward warranty with us until March 2026. Very low mileage in this one, only done 9,000 on the clock, so I'll get the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So sit tight and let me walk you around this lovely Focus ST where we have tons and tons and tons and tons of specification to talk about today. So without further ado, we are going to begin at the near side front, and now I present to you the beautiful, if it wasn't in shade, the beautiful remote central locking key. One click on the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. I don't like starting with an apology, but here we go. They are going to be flashing in your video simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But daytime running lights will give you the ultimate visibility for other road users to be seen either even the brightest of summer's days. So you're always going to be perfectly visible to cars around you. So they are some beautiful LED headlights and below we have front parking sensors which trail all the way around the front lip of the bumper. We've got the beautiful now iconic ST front grille with the ST badging, you're going to be known everywhere you go. That little dull bit underneath the number plate there is a front facing radar and that is responsible for things such as pre-collision assist as part of the driver assistance pack. Moving ourselves around now, oh look at these beautiful 19 inch alloy wheels. So this vehicle has fitted the performance pack, so that means the tyres fitted are the Pirelli P0s. And the bit that says P0 is obviously going to be around the other side of the tyre. So there you go, P0, so low profile P0 tyres. So they really are performance tyres and they are going to stick you to the road. What, what can I use an analogy? Right, seller tape, terrible, absolutely terrible. I'm here all day, guys. Uh, the ST comes with you your red painted brake calipers as well, and on those discs, as part of the performance pack, they are the Brembo 365mm upgraded discs. So you're going to be gripping to the road and you're going to be stopping in no time at all. It's going to draw your attention north quickly because inside the windscreen we have an abundance of sensors. The first one there is for the automated lights. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. We have two more sensors to discuss in the top of the windscreen there. The one on the left hand side is a rain sensor. So when it rains, your wipers will come on automatically. Furthermore, the longish one in the middle, that is a camera for the traffic speed sign recognition software. This can be used in accordance with the intelligent speed limiter, meaning when you go past a differing speed sign, it will change your limiter in accordance to the sign red. Continuing on the roof, we have the black roof, and it's not only that, it's a panoramic glass opening roof. So on a day like today, when it's minus one outside, maybe not, mm, might not get the use out of it so much, but when it does get a bit warmer, you want to like to let an abundance of fresh air into the cabin, that's nice and easy. Also, we have a lovely long blind underneath it, which I shall show you in a minute, and that can let an abundance of light into the vehicle as well. It's also very nice when you have the black headlining to let a bit more light in. So I'm just going to look back down south to the driver's door. I'll just lock the vehicle on the key. I'm going to take the camera to half zoom because on the door handle here we have those beautiful four lines. So one tap here will unlock the vehicle and a tap on those four lines again will then lock the vehicle. So please note we have power folding and heated door mirrors there. So they're going to defrost and clear of condensation nice and quickly in those colder months. That little symbol at the end of the mirror there is blind spot assist. Again, part of the driver assistance pack. Again, I'll, I'll show you everything that has to offer. But a little, fa uh, a little safety system about the keyless entry. If I was over a meter away, I obviously wouldn't be able to touch it, but then it wouldn't activate the system because I have the key over a meter. 
in addition, uh, after about 20 seconds, you'll see the mirrors fold in again because I have not opened the door. So that ensures it's only going to be you getting into the vehicle. So starting to move ourselves around the rear of the vehicle, the frozen white is complemented lovely with the rear privacy glass and the black roof aids that two-way colour scheme. There you go, mirrors are folding in, vehicle is now locked again. So at this stage of the video, I take a step back on the offside rear, get the camera nice and high up, and just gently rock it back and forth, hopefully displaying to you how beautiful all the body panels are. Like so. And we can link that back round to the offside rear wheel and give you another good look at that beautiful 19 inch alloy there again the beautiful red caliper to go with it on that p0 there you go p0 tire there wonderful so let's start making our way around the rear so first thing we notice on the rear bumper we have a parking sensor all the way around the side and that suggests we have the ford parking assistance ford active park assist again i'll show you all that once we're inside there is the rear stance of the vehicle. Very pretty indeed with the dual exhaust system, with the rear diffuser style system there as well. Rear parking sensors again, complemented with an incredibly high definition, wide spectrum rear camera. So now we're gonna give the near side the exact same treatment before we start talking about the boot. So again, the starting nice and hot, bit sunnier this side. Um, let me get a bit more tight to it. Just going to gently rock it back and forth. Hopefully, gives you a good understanding of how beautiful the vehicles here are at Perkins Garages. This now is the left-hand rear, the near side rear. Give you a good look at that. Then we're going to follow it all the way to the near side front and give you a good look at that. Beautiful. Right, that's the exterior taken care of. Let's have a look inside the vehicle now. So we can double click the unlock function on the key or we have a pressure plate just left of the camera. That opens up and that reveals the incredibly large volume rear boot space on this Focus ST. So it's a beautiful space indeed. We have this little cubby hole here to gain access into the rear of the vehicle. So if you were loading maybe a long bit of 4 by 2 some skis possibly they can go straight through there not a problem underneath this boot liner here is a space saver spare wheel uh, somewhere there is i promise you down there space saver spare wheel with all the relevant tools and jacks required to change it when required a few more party pieces in the back here because we have the b and o amp to the right hand side there and the sub sits inside the spare wheel i have the exact same uh, setup in my vehicle and it is incredible so if you're into your music and you like a good sound system the focus st with a bno premium audio system is the ticket for you so that's inside the boot the boot of this focus and um, again volume um the volume comparisons uh, for my sins i like to go fishing i can get all of my fishing tackle in the boot of a focus st no problem if you had a couple of dogs i reckon a couple of labs a couple of cocker spaniels even suitcases not a problem it's an abundance of space really is an everyday vehicle this one okay so that's the boot let's have a look inside so it's locked remember my little explanation earlier about the key to entry there we are okay so starting off the door cards like normal hard wearing plastic there it's going to be robust perfect child proof if you like soft touch synthetic leather on the armrests four electric windows feature on this vehicle so you get an individual control on the corresponding door card spinning the camera around let me just pop the little cover back up like so lose the armrest spinning the camera around my apologies this is the interior on this focus st so it's a half leather half suede interior all defined by this glorious red st stitching all the way around if you are carrying the smaller humans of this world you may require an iso fixing seat so you have an iso fixing seat on the left hand rear there and again on the right hand rear uh, once they're grown up and uh, they're carrying ipads and tablets and switches and things like that on longer journeys and they might need to be charged up down there are two ah, light two usb charging ports usb c deliver five amps of charging and that makes them perfect 
for a larger battery capacity such as an iPad. They'll charge faster than it uses the charge. That's what I mean. Uh, so this is a lovely opportunity just to show you we have the fitted ST floor mats in there already. So after purchase, that's one less thing you have to worry about. Looking up now, look, we've got the sun working in our favour this morning. Sun's just beating through that panoramic glass opening roof there. So that's how much light can be let in by this opening roof. I just want to show it from this angle. Now, now it's time to get a bit serious. Let's talk about all the goodies we have in here because the, there are plenty of goodies. Again, starting on the door card, this time we have this carbon fibre trim there leading to the door handle. Just below, this is where you can find your folding mirrors and electrically adjusting mirrors, as well as interior locking. This time we have all four window controls, which are one touch for the fronts. And we have again a lovely synthetic leather armrest there. Spinning the camera around for the last time, let's have a look at these seats. These are the Ford Performance drivers and passenger seats so these are the AGR Ford seats so effectively they are airbag seats so they're incredibly comfortable and they are electrically adjustable so if you'd like to count with me there's a one there's a two there's a three and a four a five and a six seven and eight and actually we actually have a nine and a ten there as well because up and down pumps the, the airbags up, giving you some incredible side and lumbar support. I'll just show you the sticker there, but the idea is to uh, reduce strain uh, on the spine. So there we go, so if you do suffer with a bad back, these are incredibly comfortable seating. And not only that, which is another, another little thing I really love, is the extendable leg bit there. So you can pop that out and gives you extra support under your legs. So it's a very comfortable seat all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now, in which you may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone. So please just bear with me for a moment. Okay, marvellous. Now we're inside the vehicle. There is the beautiful dashboard starting up. Uh, I said we have done just under 9,000 miles, and I didn't lie. That is 8,975 to be exact. So now we're inside the vehicle, and the key is still in my pocket. We can put your foot on the brake, and we have the power start-stop button. One push of that will wake up the 2.3-litre EcoBoost engine. I'm just going to straighten up the steering wheel. Okay, right. I can now close the sunroof. So just show you the controls there actually whilst I'm here. We have one here on the right hand side. If it will focus, come on now. One on the right hand side there is for the blind. So that blind stretches all the way along the vehicle. The one on the left hand side, one click of that, that is to close the sunroof. Show sure this little cubby hole. Everyone has sunglasses. Well, you should do really if you're a driver. Look at that sunglasses holder. That is lovely. I don't have that and I've sat on four pairs of sunglasses in the last 12 months. So if you are watching Ray-Ban and you fancy sponsoring me, get on the phone, not a problem. Right, here we go. This is the beautiful digital driver display on this Focus ST. To look, to start giving you a tour around it, we're gonna start the left-hand side. So you have a coolant temperature sensor, furthest left, a digital speedo, and at the bottom we have the odometer, gear selector indicator, we have the ambient air temperature, Yes, it's cold. We have a digital readout for the fuel there. We have a bar graph for the fuel readout on the furthest right. In the middle there, we have an RPM times 1000 gauge. And in the middle, we have different gauges. So I'm going to be controlling this using the arrows, return and menu button on the right hand side of the steering wheel, which I shall display to you in a moment. We have live tire pressures. So I thought I'd just mention as well, we have literally just taken this car into stock. Uh, in a second, this car is booked in for a used car prep. So this will be going for our workshop, being worked on by our qualified Ford technicians, and any work, such as adjusting the tyre pressures to the manufacturer's specification, shall be carried out. So that's why they're a bit skewy at the moment, but this is about to go through a very uh, methodical mechanical prep. So tyre pressures will be adjusted, then we have different fuel economies, we've got chip computers, and back to performance gauges. Well, there's a few uh, goodies with these electric screens, because we have selectable drive modes and different drive modes give you different aesthetics on the screen. For a quick reference, when I click the S button for sport, 
the sport gives you a very sportier dynamic on the screen there so you get the red and gray accents to give you that sporty dynamic so that's a little bit about the screen ahead of you but if i was to click on the menu button we can then go into select screens and in select screens we've got a calm screen we've got fuel economy chip computer one two and we've got traffic sign recognition and that's where the two little circles below that's where the traffic signs will be displayed in addition we have the performance gauges performance dials details as well and eco behavior and loads of other goodies on there uh, if you go down to navigation once you set your navigation on the beautiful new sync 4 module you can have all your home your previous destinations and your favorites all programmed in ready to go so i'm going to progress from this screen because you still have so much to talk about very quickly beautiful design cup holders they're sprung or tension sprung tensioned so when your coffee's in there in the morning and you go around a corner because on people don't believe this when you go around a corner things happen gravity happens and uh, your coffee end up everywhere no these are brilliantly designed again i'm a big fan of ford cup holders dan stop going on about cup holders we have an electronic parking brake you pull up to apply and you push down to cancel couldn't be easier this one here is for auto hold and this is the beautiful rotary gear selector for the seven speed automatic gearbox so it's a very lovely sensation just turning that little silver wheel round into the relevant gear position uh, the part of the seven speed automatic gearbox is the manual function so on opposing sides of the steering wheel we have the gear down on the left and gear up on the right so yes it really does feel like a race car so down in this little cubby hole here we have a variety of charging accessories so that is a wireless charging pad so if your phone supports wireless charging place it down there and it shall wirelessly charge in addition we have another usb a another usb c and a 12 volt socket so effectively we have four different options to charge your phone which is fantastic um, so on the outgoing sync 3.4 modules the apple car plate was always wired wired so you'd have to connect a cable in there to be able to use apple carplay and with this new sync 4 module let's give you a good look at that this sync 4 module supports wireless carplay so if your phone supports wireless charging and wireless carplay you're in luck because you won't need any cables anymore so it's a really fantastic design so anyway this here is the new 15 inch sync 4a module and my job in the next minute and a half is to give you a tour around it this features dual zone air conditioning so gone are the buttons down there we have very minimalistic buttons now so it looks very neat and tidy both sides of the cabin could be set to individual temperatures so if you do suffer with a really cold passenger you can keep them nice and hot whilst keeping yourself nice and cool in addition we have heated front seats which are free way adjustable we also have the ever faithful ford electronically heated windscreen again on a morning like today that would defrost the windscreen in no time at all in addition rear demist we have your heated steering wheel found there you click on this button it expands the screen into the climate control page there you can see your max air conditioning your max demist and dual function and from the middle you can change the flow of vents clicking that button once more will then uh, hide that menu we are currently looking at the home screen of the sync 4 module so you get the quick touch for navigation and this is incredible so it works like a, a smartphone so it's pinching and it's very easy to set so for example where to i hear you ask you'd like to come to perkins garages to have a look at this focus st and i for one cannot blame you you shall need charlie mike 77 6 sierra alpha click the search box and in no time at all literally no time at all it navigates your route and don't forget when you do click go you can have the directions appear on the digital screen in front of you so that's navigation yeah we've got so much to cover still let's start off in settings in settings you have all of your lovely settings such as your bno sound it's currently blank because the radio is off but you can adjust all of your vehicle uh, sound settings to your preferences in vehicle settings this is where you'll find all of the goodies such as my key we have your uh, remote start setup so this is what i wanted to talk about because everybody buying a car today wants an app 
forward pass connect app download it to your smartphone then you can connect your vehicle and your phone together and you can do remote startup so you can set the climate control you can set the seats and the steering wheel heated and even set the duration as well so once you're sipping on your coffee in the morning looking at your frozen focus st outside just jump on your app turn it on turn your seats steering wheel and heating on it'll be nice and toasty when you get in it well, that's a lovely idea Coming out there once more, we can go down to global unlock windows. We have the rain sensing wipers, as I mentioned before, and in lighting, these are the adaptive headlamps. So what they do, you can adjust them to be left-hand or right-hand traffic. So if you're going on to the, over to the continent, a fantastic bit of tech. Okay, so very quickly, I'd just like to come into features now because we do have the drive modes I mentioned before, which include a slippery, normal, sport, and racetrack. So you have beautiful different drive modes. There we can go into driver assistance. In driver assistance, we have the adaptive cruise control. We have the speed limiter, which we can set to intelligent. In addition, we have a lane keeping system, pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition, rear view camera, blind spot information system, wrong way alert, cross traffic alert, and also a driver alert in there as well. So that very briefly is the Sync 4 module. Again, this is fully supportive of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so whichever software you have on your mobile phone, either plug it in or use the wireless feature and take all advantage of the applications on your phone onto this screen, So, such as music, podcasts, audio books, um, but the main one you shall be using, or you should be using, is the voice command button. The voice command button will then activate your voice assistant, to which you can then ask it to do a whole range of tasks. So that's about it for me today. Again, I'm sorry that I haven't covered everything, such as the adaptive cruise control with lane centering, because that, I could speak about that for five minutes on its own. That's a fantastic system. Cruise control on longer journeys, amazing. Even keeping in the middle of the lines. I done the right hand side of the steering wheel, wherever. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm sorry it was so long, and I'm sorry that I didn't cover everything, but there's just so much spec on these fantastic Focus STs. If this is a bit of you, and you like to be quick, because these don't last long, Give us a call, 01376 550 899. Uh, if you like the video, please like the video. Hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll be speaking to you again soon. Goodbye for now.